Viewers, Miss Cal here. This is an observation about water and uh, how it looks different after it's taken uh, something into it. Now, two identical buckets here. In this one, there's a little bit of gum terps. Uh, I'll get into why gum terps in a moment. So, in a document about Joe cells, I read that uh, the best water for it came from water that had washed over leaves and hadn't traveled too far down a stream so fairly fresh rainwater and uh, the surfactants of the leaf surface that was changing the behavior of the bubbles in such a way that the bubbles were smaller and they had a tendency to hold a charge better now uh, gum terps comes from gum trees and gum terps also has an affinity for creating uh, aerosol particles in the sky. Uh, there's, an, uh, uh, there's a research paper I read that I found on a CSIRO website about uh, smoke particles from bushfires and how they can actually help uh, seed rain clouds. But anyway, I digress. So, there's a little bit of um, just sticking around the edges there, a really small amount of turpentine and in this bucket just the dirt. So we've got the tap water here, this is river water, it's a little bit treated. So I'm going to blast it into that one and we're going to observe the way the bubbles behave. See they pop pretty quickly, doesn't hold a very small bubble. Now, in this one, there's a little bit of turpentine. Smaller bubbles that are persisting. Put a bit more in there just so you get a real good feel for what I'm talking about. Here's the cap and there's a bit on the inside of the lid there which has put a little slick on the surface. Bubbles pop really quick, they're large. Smaller bubbles persisting. Let's go even more. Look at that. Watch the way the bubbles have a charge tendency and attract to each other. You can see that movement in the middle there is very much like the behaviour you see in a Joe cell when you've got it fully charged. Bubbles will form and attract to each other, accelerate towards each other.
anyway, thanks for watching.